Good morning. Today I have decided to walk to Hordan, which is from my hostel to Hordan in the valley. It's I think it's gonna be like 10 kilometers. Well, it's like three and three, no, like six kilometers. But it is the smallest village in Colombia and it is located like at the very bottom of, of the canyon. Yeah, so it's seven, like 45 in the morning and it's already hot. I'm gonna go check it out since I've never heard of it until the other day when I saw it. I need to get water in Los Santos. I have water, but I'll probably be, don't go through it all. So I'm gonna have to stock up. And the guy at the hostel told me last time he went to Hordon, he walked and everything was closed, so be sure to bring food and all that stuff, which I'm gonna stock up when I get to town, which is only, this is only like an hour walk. It's all downhill from my hostel, so which means from Hordon back to San Los Santos, we all uphill, so that is the plan. And I'll tell you more about Hordan when I get there and what I learned. I bought enough, enough snacks to last me hours. Okay, so the road that I'm going on right now is this, it's called the Royal Path. And which will take you to the smallest village in the Chicamocha Canyon. It is one of the most walked sections of the 800 kilometers that make up the Santander Ancestral Pass Network. It is used by the community of Jordan, where I'm going, because there is no direct route between Los Santos and Jordan. It is the best preserved portion as well as restored in 2019 by the municipality of Los Santos. Along the way, there's stops and everything so I can rest, but there's nowhere to buy anything. So the whole walk is gonna take me, so it says it is 5.7 kilometers, three hours, which I'm going to go there and come back in the same day. And then I'm from Los Santos, I can take the bus back to where I came from. So it's gonna be like 10 kilometers. It might take me like six hours, but I don't think, I don't know. I just walked like three kilometers and it only took me an hour. So I think on the way back, it's gonna be worse. It says bring lots of water. So I have two bottles. I have a, like three liters of water with me. So I should be fine, but that's why this mule is here because these people probably are going directly in between Jordan y Los Santos. So. So I'm going to that village that you can barely see way down there, over there. So after about 
three hours of walking, so it did take me three hours. I have made it to the smallest village in Colombia called Jordan, and it's hot. But it, I passed, so apparently they grow tobacco here and have a ton of goats. So I just walked past tons of tobacco, tons of goats, tons of doggies. So this bridge that I'm about to cross is the Chicamocha, Chicamocha River and links the village of Los Santos to Jordan. It was built in 1864 by an Englishman named David McCormick and an emblematic place of the region because the, it is where the first toll of Colombia was installed. The bridge was used for a long time by merchants and their mules contributing to the economic development of the region. Until roads replaced the paved path, it was also here that Simon Bolivar arrived with, during the War of Liberation. The bridge, commonly known as Lengerke Bridge, in honor of the, the German engineer who contributed to development and trade, was restored in 2018 by locals. Ah, and it... Yeah, so, I have made it. I don't know how I'm gonna walk back. I'm dead. <laughs> Five miles, I think it was six miles.
Okay, so I'm walking on the road. So I think this is the way that goes to Vision Via Nueva. But people have motorcycles here, so I'm thinking that it goes, you can leave this way. I think the only road to Los Santos is the one I just took. So that way you can't go unless you probably go up and around. But I don't know. I'm trying to look for lunch and then I'm gonna go back but I came from way up there so I'm like dreading the walk back it is really hot here too so I don't know how long I can really stay here I think it's just to come look around and leave but super interesting super cool Hola. There are no foreigners here, so people are like looking at me, probably wondering why I'm here and why I'm in this little tiny, tiny, tiny town. There's, yeah, it's, but it's super cute. I think it's always the same hot here. Hola, buenas tardes. Okay, so lucky for me, the apparently I got here a little bit too early for lunch. <clears throat> I was wondering why I smelled food, but no one was eating. And then I checked my clock. It was before 11. Usually they don't start serving lunch till like 11 or 11.30. But anyways, they were nice enough to cook me food because the only thing I have with me is like snacks. And I didn't eat breakfast while well, I had fruit. So I really wanted to eat before I go up this mountain because yeah coming down was even tricky because like it's really uneven surface so i kind of went slow okay so from where i'm staying in my hostel to here it only took me two hours i checked i thought it took longer but it only took me two hours so i do expect going up is going to take me two hours just to get to los santos and then from there i'm going to take the bus back to my hostel because it is direct sun it is 11 a little after 11 in the morning. It is hot. My entire clothes are wet from sweat. And I'm going to reapply sunblock again. And, oh, I'm not thinking, thinking this is a horrible idea, but this town is super cute. So 
What I do know about this town is it is the smallest pueblo in Colombia and it is located at the bottom of the Chicamocha Canyon and there's I don't think there's anywhere to stay here unless you have a tent and it is on the cross between Los Santos here Jordan and then Visa Nueva which goes to Berichara so it's like the whole loop that you can do and you can walk and it is safe I'm by myself I passed a couple other hikers but that was it people here in town just kind of look at you <laughs> like what are you doing here <laughs> and but since I got here they turned down the fountain it's really this little area is really beautiful and very peaceful and yeah like I said it has about 1100 people who live here so I'm assuming they all know each other because this is very tiny there is a police station I saw I'm assuming there's a school because I saw some kids and a church as always in Colombia there's a church in the center square it's super clean and they're working and doing some work on the houses around here yeah but I mean honestly I don't really want to I kind of walked around and that was about it I might see if I can go down to the river but there's not really much here but it's super cool and I'm really glad I came so if you're up for a hike and you're in Los Santos yes do it but I will check back with you when I get to the top of this mountain because I might be singing another tune but there is another way to come in I don't know how if I figure it out I'll google and see what it shows me but yeah so <sighs> wish me luck cool I'm at like the bottom of the probably the craziest like I don't know if you imagine like the Grand Canyon in the US like I'm at the bottom of like everything of like the canyon I don't know it's so cool and yeah it's amazing how beautiful it is here okay so I've been walking for almost three hours straight uphill I'm gonna die I swear I think this is the hardest thing I've ever done and it's like really really hot in the bottom so for like the first hour it was just sun and no wind at all now at least it's windy i'm almost to the top i've been counting like rest stops because there's like six rest stops i have one more to go and then the town is there i've drank almost all my water i have like a half a bottle left or half a liter probably because i brought a huge thing and oh my god i don't know if i recommend this unless I don't know, I feel like you have to leave really, really, really like 4 a.m. early to come back when it's still cool or spend the night and then come back. But I don't know if there's anywhere to stay the night there. I don't think there is. So I don't know, or a tent. Anyways, I don't know if I'll update you, but I'll make it to the top because you're going to see this video. And I'm going to get like 800 bottles of water and my battery is dying. So that's mainly the reason. So I only have probably about 30 more minutes to go. And yeah, I would not recommend this in one day. <laughs> the town was cool, but definitely no, 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 no. Anyways, I'm sure I'll feel fine when I get back to the hostel. But anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.